We've now implemented a lazy mo, but it turns out that it's not lazy enough. We have a problem with redundant evaluation. And so here's a challenge for you. Pause the video, try to find an expression where our lazy interpreter produces a longer trace than the eager interpreter. Okay, here's one answer. We've got a function, takes in an x, and then uses x four times. And then we apply that to a large arithmetic expression. Since this expression does not get evaluated until it gets used on the inside of the function body, that means this whole expression gets swapped in four times. So if we were to run this code, how many times is 8 plus 9 evaluated? Well, the answer is four times. And that's a lot of duplicate work that we didn't need to do because the result of the arithmetic expression is always the same thing. This can cause real problems. So we're back now at our interpreter. We've got a big test down below here. So x2 is a function that uses its argument twice. x4 is a function that ends up using its argument four times. And then we keep on doubling, 16, 256, 65,000. And running this test takes quite a while, much more than it needs to be. This is not good. Since these results are always the same, we'd like to make sure that we evaluate expressions like this one at most once and never again. To do that, we need to change our environment structure. We need to equip our thunks with a cache. Once they know that the expression has been evaluated once, they no longer evaluate it in the future. We'll do that by adding one more field. Delay takes an argument expression, an environment, and then a done field, which is a mutable box, and inside it, it's got an optional value. So this option will start off as none, and after we interpret the argument for the first time, we fill in this box with some value. Putting it all together, inside the application case, when we create our delay and update the environment, we initialize with a box containing none, and then our force function needs to change. So here's what we had before. Afterwards, we have the done field as well. The first step is to check if we have something inside the done field. If we don't, then interpret the argument, update that box so we don't need to interpret in the future, and then return the value. If we did have something in the done field, then just return that, unpack and return. We've got that implemented over here in a more lazy interpreter. So thunk now has three fields. Interp is updated accordingly. And if we go back to our big test here, where we've got 65,000 uses, it runs much, much quicker than before. In conclusion, the key here was to remember the result of interpreting an expression so we didn't have to do it more than once.